Hey, it's Alina from Xmate Mastery here, and I wanted to go over some changes that have been made in Xactmate uh, version X1. Not only the desktop, but also the online has changed. So I want to go over some of these changes so that you're aware of what's going on and keeping up to date with all the things that Xactware is rolling out. So let's go take a look at not only the desktop version and the changes that are made there, but also the online version. They've actually gone away from using what's called Silverlight, and now you have to load into a new platform. So let's go take a look at the changes that have been made in X1 just recently. So starting with the online version, when I go to exactmate.com, it now takes me here. And I used to use a plugin, a Microsoft Internet Explorer plugin for Chrome. And this used to take me there just fine. But now I get this 404 directory. If I try to go to that address, as you can see here, it's going to redirect me. And let me show you what it does. It takes me to the exactmate.com forward slash XOR. So this is the new look of Xactimate and it looks of course just like X1. So the old version 28, let's call it, of the online version is now gone and been replaced with the online version that looks a lot like X1 desktop. So this is pretty much what my desktop version of X1 looks like. And when you come in here to an estimate, You'll also notice with the online version, when you first open up an estimate, it has to do this whole installation package uh, that takes quite a bit of time. Once you've done that installation package, now I've already done it, so you didn't see it on my screen, but it does go through a couple of steps. It walks you through it. Once that's done, it does pretty fairly quickly open up the new estimate or the estimate that is existing. I'm using existing one. It opens it up pretty quickly. So it's not as quick as the online version of 28, but uh, it's it, they're getting there. So what I wanted to point out was now in our claim info, insured info screen right here, it now looks more like the mobile version. This looks more like that way that they've designed the mobile version to work. So we no longer have that old look of version 28 here on our screen. It's now upgraded to look a little bit more like the mobile version. So pretty much the same fields. They're just organized in a different order. That's fine. You've got your insured info, your dates are in the same place, personnel, that's uh, pretty much the same place. You know, coverage loss looks a little bit different, but if you really drill down, it's just they made it more modern looking. They didn't really take or add anything here. Claim number, policy number, type of loss, cause of loss, you know, that's all here for us, our deductible and then the coverage types. Uh, in parameters, that also looks quite a bit different. This to me is the biggest change, is that uh, my report text, this used to be called model statements. So they did a little bit of changing of the verbiage, which as an Xactimate trainer, uh, I called the model statements. Well, that's gone. So just little tweaks here and there that I noticed since I've been in this program for so long, but most people uh, won't find this difficult either to find what they need. It's pretty self-explanatory. You've got your price list, uh, you know, your depreciation options, there's your O&P, whereas before it was kind of organized, you know, price list was here, O&P was over here and our model statements were down below. It's pretty much organized in that same manner. So uh, when you get over to estimate items though, it pretty much still looks like 28 in my opinion. So we've got, you know, our reference search up here, which by the way, if your search and macro disappear, there's a little button over here that will pull it back up for you. Everything to the right of this blue ribbon pretty much looks like what 28 looked like. And especially if you go back over to documents, reports, this is much the same as the 28 look. So they're slowly rolling out changes. Claim info is the most drastic that we've seen since they've gone to the X1 version. Uh, of course, when they upgraded to X1, it moved some things around, but it really didn't change the look of the program. Well, they're starting to change the actual look and feel with moving it more toward this modern uh, or looks like the mobile version. So that's what the online version looks like. Whenever I go to my dashboard, you will see that it is a modified view of what you have access to. You'll notice that there isn't any data transfer as of right now. Uh, we really can't import macros yet. Those kinds of things are, are shut down at the moment. We can go ahead and export the project now, which is something that uh, wasn't available uh, over the summer, I feel like. But now we can go ahead and uh, save ESX or export to Excel. So that's exciting. But we don't have the import. There's still some things that are missing as far as the features that we're used to with the online version. 
So this is the desktop version of X1. As you can see, there's a couple more options on our dashboard over here, but it's pretty much like what I just showed you online. So if you select a project, you've got some of the same options over here. And if you're in an actual estimate, going back to that claim info section, again, more of the modern look, they're getting away from that version 28 look in your claim info tab, but over an estimate item, same thing as online, you've still got this look here that it looks much like version 28 did. Same with your um, reports uh, section here, your reports screen is pretty much like what 28 looked like. So same thing, they're making it very streamlined and and that it's seamless between the platforms so that they're all starting to look the same, which will be interesting as we get on into 2022 to see if they're going to change estimate items, photos, reports, some of these other areas that still look like 28. So I hope that was helpful to you as we all roll over to the new version of X1, whether it be online, desktop, or mobile. Mobile looks similar, but their sketch and estimate items are drastically different. So that's why I didn't go into the mobile version today. Just want to focus on desktop and online and the changes that were made there. Maybe in the next coming weeks, I might do a mobile version update. But for now, that is the new look for the online. And of course, the desktop version has been out for quite a bit, but the online was a major change. And then that major change they made just recently to claim info is something I wanted to cover. So not too much to really relearn, just know where they moved things. Um, everything's pretty much the same, but when you open up something in a piece of software and you're going, okay, this looks totally different, sometimes your brain stops. So hopefully this was useful to you to help you put the pieces together. It's really not that different. Just know that the same information is there. It just has a more modern look. My name is Alina Wilson with Eximate Mastery. I train contractors how to use Xactimate to stop leaving money behind. If you want more information on what we do, go ahead and go to xm8mastery.com. I have a free giveaway on our website. You can go take a look and take advantage of that over there. I hope you have a great week in your business and I'll see you next Tuesday.